Um, and again, not enough beds. So everybody here needs to say, okay, if there's a solution, why aren't the cities following with the solutions? Uh, the tiny homes community is where we're going next in Berkeley. Uh, we're working on it, which is something that Mike, who is a candidate for mayor, he's our, uh, our BPOC candidate, uh, who announced a few months ago, and that happened uh, right before our raid, about two months before our raid. Uh, the situations on these raids, by the way, where the cops came in and arrested us and took all the gear, all the gear from Berkeley destroyed illegally by the city before the 90-day mandatory hold at the post office raid, the 17 months worth of, of everything, the tiny shack that we built, the free box, all that stuff, destroyed illegally by the postal police. Mm -hmm. So this is what the homeless have to face. The next thing we have to face, I have yet to be able to find legal representation. We've got a slam dunk case on violation of our rights, yet no lawyer, including the ACLU, is willing to step up and fight for the homeless in Berkeley. And that is just a shame. So all the effort and all the arrests that we took are for nothing. And all the money that we lost is gone. There's nothing we can do. File small claims. But there's a time limit on small claims, and he can't do anything yet because he's still got caught. We have to wait for all members to, to finish our trials for our arrest for Liberty City to actually go forward with any type of lawsuit against the city. And the, uh, the postal police just issued my charge for impeding the post office. And if you look at the photo on the wall right over there, they put a fence up around the entire area that BPOD was located in. They have truly impeded access. You can't get to the garden, you can't get to the bike rack, which they removed, and you can't even go stand where any of that shack is put up. And that's what the postal police did, a score shirt policy to prevent the homeless from going back and taking that spot back. But what they did do is they gave me a damn fence if I go back to protect me from the police raiding. <laughs> that's what they don't get. It's got one lock fence, we may do something. And look for July 4th, we're talking about Liberty City 2. My arrest for Liberty City uh, trial was a couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago. I am not allowed to go, I have a stay away order, I love this, uh, for any unlawful activity at City Hall. That is the extent of what they got out of me, which is nothing. There are no charges, I cannot go over there and break any laws, but I don't break the law anyway, so we're going to go back and reoccupy. They have not yet said that it's illegal to occupy. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a lawful activity, we're going to continue challenging this. All right. All right.